I stole the prince and I brought him here and left him gaily prattling with a highly respectable gondolier who promised the royal babe to rear and teach him the trade of the time and ear with his own beloved prattling. Both of the babes were strong and stout and considering all things clever. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no problem, a possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt, whatever. No possible doubt, whatever. But owing I'm much disposed to fear for his terrible taste for tippling, that highly respectable gondolier could never declare with a mind sincere which of the two was his offspring dear and which the royal stripling. Which was which he could never make out despite his best endeavor. Of that there is no error of doubt, no problem, or possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever. No possible doubt whatever. Time spared, and when at the end of a year I sought that infant cherished, that highly respectable gondolier was lying a corpse in his humble bed. I dropped a grand inquisitor's tear. <gasps> that gondolier had perished. A taste for drink combined with gout had doubled him up forever. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no problem, or possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever. No possible doubt whatever. The children followed his old career, that statesman can't be parried. Of a highly respectable gondolier, well, one of the two who should soon be here. But which of the two it is not quite clear is the royal prince you marry. Search in and out and round about, and you'll discover never a tale so free from every doubt, a probable possible shadow of doubt, a possible doubt whatever. A tale so free from every doubt, a probable.